your name? My name is Lindsay Cunningham. And what year were you born? 1984, which makes me 27. Okay. And where are you from originally? I'm from originally from Lucasville. I grew up in Lucasville until I was 14, and then I moved to Mission Field in Haiti. Okay. And um, we asked you to come in and speak a little bit about your experiences the day of the 9-11 tragedy. Could you tell us a little about that? Sure. Um, my parents and I were actually living in Haiti at the time in a little village called Maui. It's kind of a remote village along the coast. And uh, we had received a phone call that morning that my grandfather had passed away from natural causes, nothing, you know, involved with the 9-11 incident. But um, we had no idea that anything else major had happened. So we hurried up and packed our bags and went to Port-au-Prince, which is the capital of Haiti. And uh, we were trying to go to the American Airlines office and get tickets so we could fly back for the funeral. And while we were in the American Airlines office, it was completely packed and we had no idea what was going on, but we saw TV screens up and that's when we realized that something major had happened. Mm -hmm. Were you able to get a plane to get a flight anywhere? Yeah, we actually, we had to postpone the funeral as long as possible and it was right on the brink of where they weren't able to wait for us anymore, but um, Haiti was one of the first countries that they opened up international flights to, so we were able to get out just in time to arrive for the funeral. What was it very stressful to be seeing these images and not be definitely at because home? I mean there are people that we knew who'd lived in the area and um, my uncle was actually working at the Pentagon doing some fiber optics installation and so we didn't really know what had happened with him and so it, it was helpful that we were able to keep in contact through phone with my grandparents and um, my uncle was fine he actually was working in the area of the Pentagon that had gotten hit but he had run out of connectors and went out to his vehicle to pick up the connectors when the attack hit so he was saved and you know <laughs> we were very grateful and very blessed that he's still with us today. Sure. Um, how do you feel that the 9-11 event changed your life or your look, outlook on the world? Well I would have been I think 17 at the time so I mean as a 17 year old you're still fairly innocent although you're getting to the age where you're starting to be more mature and realize that the world is imperfect and that there's a lot of violence and evil in the world but I guess that um, it really just kind of made me realize you can't take things for granted and that there's always going to be tragedies but for me personally I just have to keep my faith in God and that's you know where I get all my strength from so in times like that I guess it's just um, you really learn that people can pull together and join even if we don't have the same beliefs or the same religions or you know whatever we still can join together as one nation and you know work together for one cause.